ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel where today as the title suggests i get to share with you my first ever win in gran turismo sport and it wasn't just any ordinary win uh, it was a grand slam win that i'm extremely proud of if i may say you might be asking what a grand slam is and well i'll tell you a bit of it as we go on so just some warm-up get into the track i don't know what happens to that bugatti over there but yeah Right now we are at Sardena. I think that's what the, that's the name of the track. It's a Sardena Road Track C. Yeah, and it's quite a short track, just about uh, a one minute lap across the entire track. And yeah, so it's quite easy to learn and quite fast to learn because you can go for countless number of laps and you won't get tired of it. So we begin in pole position. So this is the first bit of uh, getting a Grand Slam win. So you have to be on pole, that means had to have the fastest lap while qualifying, and which I did. So fastest lap in qualifying, and that makes me start up ahead of the up ahead of the bunch. So yeah, we get into lap one, getting ready, and here we go. There's a Bugatti right behind me, which is quite fast. I wouldn't want to underestimate that one. But this track, it's, yes, it's a fast track, has a couple of corners here and there, but almost every turn is a fast turn. And here we go. One thing that I always find difficult is what to do in the first corner because yes I have a braking zone but because you've just begun your speed isn't at its maximum so you just have to fidget your way through a braking zone try to keep it tight try to keep it careful and there we have it so keep pushing. Uh, the Bugatti behind me is still behind me if you look at the radar down this side on the lower right you'll be able to see it like edging its way closer and closer so up on this corner here it came really close down there and it sort of went off the track yeah sorry for that guy i'm sure that cost him his entire race so all we have to do is keep driving yes as you can see it's a, it's a fast track uh, all the turns seem fast except maybe this turn and turn one of the track so yeah uh, leading the pack from the beginning up to now and uh, as I was saying a Grand Slam win uh, you have to lead every single lap of the race so it's a seven lap race right now and I have led from the beginning of lap one all through to lap two at the moment so yeah just keeping it tight on all the turns try to keep it careful because honestly being in front is a bit scary yeah so currently you have the personal best lap and about 1.1 1 .1 1 seconds ahead of everyone else just trying to focus on the track yes it's as i said it's quite easy to learn such a short track because you can do countless number of practice laps and that's what i did i did as many as i could and i set the best time that could take me to start on pole just keep on going keep on edging forward and forward as the people behind you you know fight for positions all you have to do is concentrate on the road ahead and you'll definitely be faster than them so that's what was happening as uh, we're starting this next lap uh, i get a faster slap with a 158 which, which isn't bad but it's not the best because i'm i'm sure for my qualifying i think i had a 156 i think so but yeah lap three uh 1.3 seconds ahead and uh, there's a part of a second happening but anyway, yeah, let's continue. Oh, this turn almost cost me the race. <laughs> I lost the wheels just over the gravel there, but I, was, I managed to pick it up. So we go for lap four. And that's the thing with uh, these races. If you start at the front and you lead the whole race, it gets quite like lonely or boring at the front. There isn't much activity. All you have to do is to focus. And like, as everyone who watches racing, once the guys want overtakes, but me who hadn't won a Gran Turismo race at the beginning up to now nah oh yeah three seconds in front three second gap to the second and yeah keep pushing keep pushing so yeah we go to the end of lap four onto lap five and now a new fastest lap with 0.57.6 not bad not bad so all i have to do now is just maintain form just keep maintaining form the same happened through this lap Let's go on to the next one at the end of lap uh, lap five. I'd, I wasn't able to make another fastest lap. I was just a little bit off my pace, but I just had to continue with the form 
try to keep my mind in the game and lap six i'm currently 4.6 seconds 4.6 seconds ahead of the second which is quite a gap quite a gap with such a short track so i think the only way that they will be able to catch me is if i mess up but if i continue with my pace uh, i surely have the win already the, the guys behind are sort of shuffling they have shuffled since the beginning of the race and uh, looks like it's quite fun behind but i, I wasn't going to have any much any of that fun because you were thinking about your first ever win for example let's say formula one your first formula one victory you just want it to be clean you just want to get the win nothing else you don't want any excitement no you just want to go and yeah seven second gap and yeah it's quite a big gap as you can see there on the map so just keep pushing just keep pushing trying to keep the form the last corner coming up all i have to do pray you don't spin just take it easy no rush movements and just glide your way to the finish line that's what was going through my mind i wouldn't want to make any mistakes especially for something so critical as a first ever win and there it is a grand slam victory i was running around the room by this time i was so excited like the fact it's a grand slam my first ever victory it was it was amazing exhilarating uh, yeah so grand slam it was a clean race a fastest lap uh, a poor position and a win and yeah it was it was amazing it was amazing i loved it i love grand Turismo sport i love racing in general it gives you a feeling like no other but anyway yep that's me sharing my experience and i thank you for watching uh do like subscribe I do all the things that need to be done and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.